This conference will now be recorded. Good evening and welcome welcome to the uh, City Council meeting of July 3rd, 2023. Call the order, please. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Here. Councilmember Mitchell? Here. Councilmember Noah? Here. Councilmember Walchuk is excused. And Mayor Walagora? Here. Please rise for the pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, I'll entertain, entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Councilmember Nowak? Yes. And Mayor Walagora? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. I believe there are two proposed modifications to the agenda. Um, I would like to make a motion um, that we approve resolution 2023-11 and put it at the end of um, C under consent agenda. Um, and another one that we put under report of officers for investment of the joint escrow funds. I'm sorry, what was the second one? The second one is the... Um, uh, investment of joint escrow funds will be under report of officers. As That's the, with the charter of Township of Alpena. And do you want me to read the whole motion? The suggested motion, you want me to read it? So my recommended motion for that is to move to invest the joint escrow funds with the charter of Township of Alpena and your certificate of deposit at Nicolet, Nicolet Bank for a period of nine months. <clears throat> yeah, that will be... Okay, oh, yeah. hey, I'll support that. <laughs> Go ahead, Anna. I'll support that. <clears throat> Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Councilmember Noah? Yes. Mayor Walagora? Okay. And Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. Motion carried. All right, thank you. <clears throat> uh, approval of the minutes for regular and closed sessions of June 19th, 2023. Any issues with that? Changes? Okay, citizens appearing before council on agenda and non-agenda items are allowed five minutes each to address your concerns. If you'd like to do so this evening, please come to the podium and state your name and address to our clerk for her records. This is the only time during tonight's meeting you're allowed to address council. Anyone live? No. Anyone on the internet? Thank you, sir. Okay, the consent agenda this evening. A is bills to be allowed in the amount of $912,023.07 and authorize Mayor Walagora and Clerk Soik to sign. B is application from Sanctuary Cinema LLC for a new Class C license issued under uh, MCL 4361521A1B to be located at 101 South 2nd Avenue, Alpena, Michigan. B re recommended for approval by the Michigan Liquor Control Commission. C is the approval of the waterways grant with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and approval of resolution number 2023-11 and authorize city manager Rachel Smolinski to sign. D is correct the social media policy that was approved on 2-15-21 and number, as, uh, and number the policy uh, number 60. And E is adopt council policy statement number 61, canvas of personal property. I move we approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Councilmember Nowak? Yes. Mayor Walagora? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. And Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And our presentation tonight is the Here and Humane Society semi-annual report. That will be by me. Okay. <laughs> I, I get tonight. Um, so this report was all generated by Mary Egan, and she can't be here this evening because she is taking um, um, courses for her um, master. So she has a class at 6.30. So um, I can't take credit for <clears throat> generating this report. So it's an honor to maintain a service contract with the city of Alpena to house, treat, and care for dogs and cats brought to HHS shelter in the city of Alpena. We are especially grateful for the increase the city recently gave us to help with expenses. The funding from the city may be only account for about 7% of the Huron Humane Society's annual operating budget, but the trust the city of Alpena places in us is priceless. <clears throat> Every penny and ounce of goodwill is appreciated and put to good use. We at HHS are 
very proud to be Alpena Snow Kill Shelter serving the community for 41 years. Our relationship with the city and law enforcement officers who sometimes bring us animals in need is something we're grateful for and never take for granted. We are in the midst of kitten season at the shelter, a result of a combination of irresponsible pet ownership and the uncontrolled feral cat population. HHS has taken in 129 kittens so far this year and 79 adult cats for a total of 208 cats. Each number of those animals were ill in ill health when they were admitted to the shelter, which means they need veterinary care. In the first five months of this year, HHS has spent $25,056.46 on veterinary care alone. This does not include the in-house testing vaccinations and the preventative medicines we perform at the shelter. Add 23 dogs we've admitted to the shelter this year and the cost to care for house feed, test, vaccinate, and provide. Um, veterinary care for our residents has cost HHS over $118,228 in just the first five months of this year. HHS continues to have a solid adoption rate with 184 of the 231 animals we've served at the shelter this year so far being adopted and two return to owners. Besides directly caring for a couple hundred animals in the last six months, we also have been busy improving the shelter and strengthening partnerships within our community. Here are just some of the highlights of our work so far this year. We had a successful audit completed by Shanna Johnson, CPA. This was the final step to earn our HHS, earning HHS a gold level transparency rating from the Candid Guide Star, which is, you know, a standard for um, nonprofits to reach that level is sometimes difficult to do. So we're pretty proud of that. Um, we may, we've made building improvements, which included replacing baseboards and two animal care rooms with plastic decking for easy disinfection, applying new caulk, caulk to those, caulking to those rooms as well, repainting all of the dog kennel doors, fixing a failed drywall joint that ran the length of our dog kennel as a result of previous shoddy workmanship, replacing several lights, replacing the roof over the entryway, putting in two new windows, fixing rotted wood from, from the leaking roof, redoing walls and flooring. We also hosted the Air National Guard 178 ISR out of Springfield, Ohio. They donated several hours working on projects at HHS, cutting the grass and enjoying our animals. We've been building a new website that will make connecting with HHS online easier and more educational. Um, we've been visiting schools and nursing homes with animals to help educate the community about responsible pet ownership and spread happiness with the furry little creatures. They really enjoy that. The Huron Humane Society is the biggest and most established no-kill shelter in the region. Our staff and volunteers, including our board of directors, work hard each day in an often thankless environment, ignoring the noise around them to focus on what's important, caring for neglected, unwanted, and abandoned animals who often need hundreds of dollars in veterinary care to survive and go on to live healthy, happy lives with local families. HHS does a phenomenal job saving hundreds of animals a year, and we appreciate every single man, woman, and child that enables us to do that by showing us support in a myriad of ways. Those interested in getting involved can help in a variety of ways. We have partnered with the Bissell Foundation again this month to offer a special adoption event from July 6th to July 13th. Eligible cats and kittens will have a base price fee of $25, while eligible dogs and puppies will have a $50 base adoption fee. Um, Joe's Bar is having a motorcycle run that will benefit HHS and friends together. Um, she didn't put the date, but that's July 17th. So if anyone wants to stop by and support both of our organizations, you can do it. We'll have live music, food. Um, it's going to be a fun, a fun day. Um, and share your time and talents by volunteering at HSS. You can do anything from socializing kittens to do to doing maintenance on the building. Shop at retails inside HHS, donate supplies like laundry soap, bleach, and canned cat food, make monetary donations, and or create a Facebook fundraiser for the animals. Sponsor the adoption fee of one of our oldest residents at HHS. Donate your bottles and cans to HHS. You can simply drop off bag returnables outside the shelter any time of the day or night and advocate for HHS in the community. We are heartened, <clears throat> we are heartened that with the support of the city of Alpena, <clears throat> 231 animals who have resided at our shelter within the city limits this year, have been tested, treated, vaccinated, and either have been or will be surgically sterilized, which will pay huge dividends in the community for years to come. Once again, thank you so much to the city of Alpena, its staff and management for supporting and valuing the work 
of the Huron Humane Society and the animals we serve. Your support really does make a difference and it's greatly appreciated. I would love to show you around the shelter when it's convenient for you. The Huron Humane Society is open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 5 p.m. and you are welcome anytime. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cindy. And uh, just a motion to uh, receive and file the semi-annual report. I will be receiving file. Second. Mayor Walagora? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Councilmember Nowak? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh, report of officers. A is the second reading of ordinance number 23-493, which amends the city of Alpena zoning map. And our attorney, Bill Piper, is here. Uh, consistent with council policy, this would not be read a second time. Uh, this is, however, property at 412 South 8 that will be converted from single family to a duplex. There are some uh, blighting conditions that need to be remediated uh, at the request of the planning commission. So if those aren't done by January 1st, 2024, this could be uh, not effective at that point in time if, if they don't do that, but that's part of the approval process. That's part of what we're asking council to approve tonight was to uh, make it contingent upon those removal of those factors, those blighting factors, excuse me. Very good. Any questions or issues with that? No, no questions. I move we approve ordinance number 23-493. Second. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Councilmember Noack? Yes. And Mayor Walagora? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Next we have the contract for assessing services and city manager Rachel Smolinski is here. What's that? Hello everyone. So I don't have a memo attached with this, but um, Alan was here to, you know, answer any questions um, at a previous council. I worked with him on this um, on this contract. It's it's perpetual, um, but there is a uh, time frame that you can give notice if you want to cancel. I ask that um, Mr. Berg lets us know by July, or excuse me, January 1st of each year, um, what the price is. We do have um, a price for services for next year, um, let me find that, um, of 99999.96. And I think that's just, it was 100,000, but that's just to make it even out at 8,333.33 per month. And then um, he did go ahead and put in the the rate for next year, the fee for next year, which would be substantially more at 126,000. And um, he was giving us a break this year because we talked a lot about the substantial increase in the price and the reasoning why. Um, this contract also includes an inspection program not included in that price and we went with option a for commercial and industrial that's outlined in the contract and option option c for residential earlier i did forward a spreadsheet to you um, there is a correction to make in that spreadsheet um, the rate for residential was at 15. when i calculated that out danny i know you asked about this earlier um, when you calculate for example, residential, 20% of the 4,277 parcels is 855 times 15, now equals 24,291. So then um, that would all add, uh, oh, excuse me, 12, it was 12,000 and some change. And then the total price that it could cost us for inspections was 24,291. Um, and Alan did note, to us earlier that you know some of these inspections would not start until later in the fiscal year and you know he can't promise exactly how many he would get to so if you have any questions let me know
but I had mine answered. So. Okay, great. Um, does anybody have any questions? I don't. Okay, I just had one. Sure. So the contract is perpetual. The term of our agreed payment is annual. Yes, he. I asked that he inform us by January first because I believe we have a hundred and yeah, hundred and twenty days prior to July first to let him know. So I thought that would give us enough time and we would be able to work it into our budget for the next year. But he did want to put in, um, and I agree just so we know the price for next year because it was so much higher. Okay, and that's, and I understand. I just, I don't know, and it might be a question for Bill because I'm just looking, I have no intention obviously, but the, but you never know what the future holds. So it says termination of contract it can, um, Terminate said contract without cause and by written notice no less than 128 days prior to July 21st, which you just noted. Now, any cancellation without cause outside of that annual time frame will require a payment, a full payment through the end of this agreement. But the agreement is perpetual. Or is the agreement in that statement the annual, the year being. Yeah, the annual. Okay. If we gave him termination within, well, in more than 120 days, it ends on June 30th of that year. If we somehow missed our notice, but we still wanted to terminate it, we'd actually have to pay it for another year. Okay, for the following year. Yes. Okay, because it just says through the end of end date of this agreement, but this does this agreement have an end date? Uh, well, is the agreement itself yeah, it's, right. at a specific end? It's really a one year rolling contract. Okay, so so it's a one year. Yes. Okay. And then back on number four under compensation, it says strict portion there that says he'll communicate compensation adjustment by January 1st, which gives us until March 1st to decide whether we want to stay in or not. Yeah. If we agree. If we stay in, then it rolls for another year. And he'll do that each year moving forward. Okay, that's all. Okay. All right, no questions, Mr. All right. Contract then. Yep. Okay. Hmm? I move we, uh, the assessor's contract as presented. Support. Yeah. <clears throat> Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Councilmember Nowak? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson's? Great. All right, thank you. And next is uh, under report officers is we added um, C, which is the investment of the joint escrow funds, the Charter Township of Alpena. Okay. The Charter Township of Alpena Treasurer, Laura Ellery Summers, contacted me to inquire if the city is interested in investing the joint escrow account into a certificate of deposit for nine months. As of Wednesday, June 28th, the CD is for nine months, 4.5% APY, with no penalty for transfer if the funds need to be withdrawn. The current CD that the funds are invested in is only earning 0.01%. As of June 6, 2023, the account balance was $3.6 million. Per Attorney Pfeiffer, the previous order of the court requires consent from both parties or a court order. Um, below, I have the recommended motion. I don't have any questions. We kind of discussed this before. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it is where it is by no fault of ours. I'll just add that. Mm -hmm. The money is where it is by no fault of ours or the Charter Township of Alpena. I'll, I'll just add that because people will ask why we didn't do this a long time ago. So perhaps, so if you're ready. I'm ready, I'll make, I will make the motion. Um, I move to invest the joint escrow funds um, with the Charter Township of Alpena and the certific certificate of deposit at Nicolay National Bank for a period of nine months. Support. Councilmember Noah? Yes. 
Mayor Walabora? Aye. Mayor Potan Johnson? Yes. And Councilmember Mitchell? Yes. Okay. That is everything, sir. That's it. Yeah. We adjourn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You keep quiet with it, Danny. <laughs> we're, good. we're all set. Charlie, a minute to shut us off. I have fun. <laughs>